art appeals to people differently depending on your taste, but some works of art can grow on you when you see them. And that's where LVI Art Gallery comes in. This gallery house intends to display the wonders of Nigerian art and let people fall in love with the beauty of creativity. Call it the new kid on the block and you won't be wrong as LVI Art Gallery has joined a list of galleries in the Lekki area of Lagos. And it appears they want to prove themselves. They have an assorted collection of Nigerian works of art with their offering old and new collectors. Sculptural piece. Uh, we have uh, a lot of oil and canvas. We have canvas works. We have uh, mixed media. Uh, we have charcoal. We have uh, pastel works. So we have some uh, some great work from great artists. Every artwork has a message. To every individual, it could be a different message. But if you take a close look, there is a message. And I know that every artist had a reason or has a reason for that painting. I have um, a colleague here who loves the announcer. She says the announcer reminds her of the alarm clock. And we know that by 6 a.m. we have the cock crow. Everybody knows it's time to wake up in the morning, the dawning of a new day. So that painting reminds her of that. The founder, Mr. Julius Iogoje, explains how he fell in love with the art many years ago by watching one of his siblings practice and his passion to give them a home. I got inspiration from the works of my brother and his friends, Ehibo Obi far back as uh, 1994, when they were still students during the ASU strike. So I saw the beautiful works they were producing. And I, other than that, my brother had been an artist at home, so I was already exposed to artworks. But seeing the artworks in, in which they produced and the fact that they were complaining that artworks were quite expensive, I decided to venture to say, hey, let me bridge this gap because these beautiful things must get to everybody. The focus is indigenous pieces that cut across different generations and the plan is to give viewers a reason to always want to walk through their doors. We're going to continue promoting Nigerian artists, contemporary artworks. We have um, some legends too, up and coming, well established. We have um, Bakwaya, Bruce Onabrakwaya, is our legend, living legend. We have Sam O'Brighty, we have Soji, we have Igbo, Obi, J.O.J. and Co. So uh, contemporary up and coming artists and uh, the established one, so we are open for everybody um, because we are promoting Nigerian artists and Nigerian arts. We have to continue repo stirring the water. We have to get more people to be interested in Nigerian arts, promoting Nigerian arts to homes, offices, schools, promot promoting the Nigerian artists too. In showbiz, which is the music industry, it is the number of copies that an artist sells that increase your popularity. So we want to increase our artist's popularity by increasing their reach where there are works we go to, more schools, more hospitals, more churches, more homes, trying to make people to have art awareness. 
art replacement use art as gifts as against buying uh, stereotype things like laptops wristwatch and co buy unique things like artworks so that is our impact promoting nigerian artists that everybody will know so the the, the artists they should be able to do more sell more and have more reach locally and later on internationally too quality and affordable art while assuring that there will be no compromise that's the message which has sunk across board so everyone has taken this vision and is running with it it's reflected in the theme of the exhibition which is still running called beauty and the beholder Every artwork is special and unique and I know that there are art lovers out there. So this is where the, the team, the beauty and the beholder. I've seen people come in and there's this love and passion they have for an artwork. Beauty represents the artworks which we have on display. So the artworks are beauty. And they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So the beholder are the guests, the beholder are the, are the attendants, are, the, are our clients that will come and admire beauty and take beauty home. So we have beauty, which are the artworks, whether it's the sculptural piece or, the, or our watercolors or our the mixed medias and co. So that, that these are the artworks are the beauty. And beholder are the clients. So we are bringing beauty and beholder under one roof, LV at home and office. I'm going to talk about one of the one of my works which I like. Although we have, um, I have love and passion for all the works, but I'll talk about uh, who the shoe fits. Who the shoe fits is a mixed media work by Ehigbo Obi J. It's quite a unique piece, uh, which we can all reckon with in our society in our current day in Nigeria, where you have different sizes of shoes to take big responsibility or small responsibility. So what can you handle? is the kind of shoes that you will wear. Is it a big shoe? Is it a small shoe? So that's one of the work I, which I can talk about. And we'll talk about Colorful Slum, one of the work by Zebo Moses. It's a very beautiful piece showing the shanty, the colorfulness of some shanty, shanty town and shanty settlement in Nigeria. So we call them shanty, but to people is home. You call places are labeled with with whatever kind of names, it's a shanty place, it's a sh but to some other people it's home, it's colorful, colorful and it's beautiful. And Zebo captured the beauty of, of, a, of the colorful slum. Then I can equally talk about another work too. We have, um, we have Doba Charge by so so Soji. The Doba is the, it's a, it's a ceremony in the northern part of Nigeria when you have a new Emma or you are celebrating any conquest. So when you look at it, you see, you see the charge, you see the, the men and the horses, you see, you, you see the, the, the colors, the glamour, you, you see elegance just by looking at Doba. Doba is always full of elegance. It, it, it displays elegance, it displays our rich tradition from north to south. We have different traditions. So Doba captures one and one captures that of the northern Nigeria. LVI Art Gallery is also spicing things up with other art forms. They are cooking up a Nigerian dance and African game night so the world can appreciate the beauty of our art and culture. Next week we'll be talking pictures, but let me give you a glimpse of what to expect. Next week on Art House. For three days, a photo exhibition and conference took place in the commercial city of Lagos. To just promote creativity in the continent of Africa, there's people from Nigeria here, but actually there's also people from like other parts of the continent as well, which I think is amazing. We need this resource. 
We'll be showing you how it all went down on the next episode of Art House. That's Art House today. We appreciate you for spending time with us. And always remember to go online to see this or any other episode of the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great day.